So, in the last video, we came up with this. Okay, so in package.json, I'm going to add start, because I haven't added that for some reason. And that will be node bot.js. Okay, so now we're going to press F5 to start the bot. There we go. So, let's add, let's pass in variables to index.html. I'm going to add a p tag, which is going to be a custom variable. And I'm going to call this name or something. Something. p something. <laughs> so now in index, what we do is we just give the variable name here, which is called something. We're going to label that. So something, we pass in an object to index. I'm going to do that. So something. What What is something? Let's see if our page is loading. Yep, it says something like that. Okay, so I was missing the hashtag here. And the syntax is like this. You type hashtag and then bracket, curly bracket, variable name. Yeah. There we go, and then we get testing one two three, and we can set this to anything. Testing three two one one two three. And now, if we refresh, we get testing three two one one two three. That is dynamic rendering. That was easy. So let's do something practical. So basically, we don't need to know about these yet, but. In HTML, we're going to use that instead of just instead of using HTML syntax here. We're using PUG so we can render dynamically, so we can render these variables here. That's why we're using PUG, and it, it allows us to do that. I think of HTML as the structure, the nouns, like tables and forms. There we go. And basically, this is the nouns. You can think of PUG as the nouns, but it has a bit of JavaScript passing in because it's dynamic, which basically means based on conditions, the value can be different for each user. Let's take this to a next level. So if we look in, this page is boring. The font is just default. Everything's default. Let's look at the source. Okay, this is not correct. Why? Why is this not correct? Basically, if you look at google.com, what is the difference? The source of google.com, I'm using control U to look at the view the source. So they ignore this, it's probably server side rendering. But this bit here is probably a bad example, but they're using doc type HTML. They're using a proper HTML template. So we go on PG language doc type here. I struggled to find it for some reason. We type doc type HTML up here. Cool. Now that's basically what we do, and it translates to this in HTML, which is basic HTML syntax. This is what goes at the top of the page, basically. And then also we add a head tag. So with PUG instead of using like an XML type of tag thing, instead of using tags, they use tabs instead of tags to um, separate the elements like this. So the H1 and the P tag are within the head tag. So if we stop that, now the H1 is a se separate from the head tag. But now when we tab, it is within the head tag. So that is a cool thing with PG. It's similar to Python, actually, which I do like. So actually, we do not have these elements in the head tag. It's not what we do. OK, so now if we refresh, I'm not expecting much to change. Unexpected token indent, so we're having problems with indenting here. 
So there we go. So we don't need to indent these, basically. And that's the thing with PG. And now, if we look, it translates to this. That's a cool thing with PG. This is within the body. We're going to give it a title. So your title is the web page title here. So we're going to call it 1PG. Probably a good bot. Probably a good bot. So probably a good bot. That is the title. Let's use title case. This is the title. There we go.